In this video, I'll be talking about the takeover and request property within the photon view component. Uh, imagine if you have such a turret in your game that you want any player to be able to jump onto and use. That's where this would come in handy. To begin, I'm in my game scene. If you don't have uh, this set up from my previous tutorials, you can just watch. It's pretty easy to follow along. I'm going to add a new game object. It is going to be actually add a 3D object of spear type. And I'm going to scale it up just a little bit so it's easier to see. The first thing I need is a photon view. So I'm going to add component photon view. And here's where you can choose what type of ownership options. So you have fixed, takeover, and request. Fixed is intended for objects which you don't want to change their owner and which they'll always have the same owner. Takeover allows you to request ownership and get it immediately upon calling the request. And request allows you to take ownership, but the owning player has to process the request. So I'm going to begin by adding a new script onto the spear. So I'm going to jump over to my scripts folder, uh, call it extra, and I will make a new folder and just call it request takeover. And in there I'm going to add a new script, obtainable spear. I'm going to select my spear and drop the script onto it. As soon as it compiles, there we go. And I'm going to open up the script. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of start, but I will keep update. And in here, I'm just going to add a very basic movement script. We actually already have one from our player movement. So I'm going to uh, copy, copy this bit right here from move speed down to transform.position plus equals. I'm going to go back to the obtainable spear script, drop it in there. I don't want to rotate speed. I do want to bump the move speed up to about 4. 4 is probably good. And I'm also going to translate um, left and right as I do forward and back. So I'm going to change this a little bit. So transform that position plus equals. Let's just go ahead and do transform dot right. And I'm going to drop all this in here and change the vertical to horizontal. This could be done in one line, but just for the sake of making it quick, I'm going to do that. I'm going to save my script and then go back to my scene. Just to make sure it works, I'm going to go into the main scene where I will connect to Photon and then jump into the game scene. Don't forget to save the game scene if you have not already. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to make a random room and join it. Okay, and I'm pressing left and right, front and back, or um, WASD. And it appears to be working, so we know that that script is functional. So I'm going to go back to the game scene. Select my spear. And I'm going to add a transform view component and I'm going to synchronize the position and I think I'll leave everything as it is already and then under the observe components in the photon view I'm going to go ahead and drop in the photon transform view this is just so that the position is synced up over the network go ahead and save your scene and go back in the visual studio and up top where it says mono behavior, I'm going to change that to photon dot pun behavior. That way we can access the uh, base class properties of photon dot pun behavior. Before we were fetching the photon view component and saving it as a variable or field. And this way uh, we don't have to do that. We could just do if base dot photon view and access it that way. So I'm going to actually do if base dot photon view dot owner equals photon network dot player basically stating if I am the owner of this object and then I'm going to wrap the moving logic we just wrote inside that bracket save your script and then go back to the scene 
select the spear again, set the owner to take over. Make sure you save your scene after you're changing that. Go back to the main scene and I'm going to just show you that it is indeed working. So when I connect and make a room, the movement shouldn't work. So I'm, I'm pressing the WASD keys on my keyboard right now and the spear is not moving because I am not the owner. And that's what we expect. So stop the game and go back to the game scene. And now I'm going to show you a very quick takeover. Uh, we're going to use on click so whenever the spear is clicked that the takeover will occur. So I'm going to do private void on mouse down and I will do base dot photon view dot request ownership. And that's all you have to do to take ownership on a view that is set to take over. So save the script, go back to the scene, select the spear real quick. It should by default come with a spear collider, but just make sure that it's on there and that it's enabled so that the on mouse down works. And go back to the main scene. And again, I'm going to hit play, make a quick room. I'm going to press my keys where it's not going to work, but I'm going to click the spear now. I just clicked it. And uh, now I'm pressing the moving keys, and you can see that it's working. So I'm going to stop the scene, go back to game again, and then jump back into the scripts. The difference between requesting ownership and using the takeover option is very minimal. All you have to do when requesting is authorize the request rather than just taking it. However, using the code to request it is the same. So we're actually going to leave this as it is. To get what I need, I'm going to go over to the Photon API. And the method we're looking for is on ownership request. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the line we have here, the virtual void, etc. Go back to Visual Studio. You're supposed to have this code only once in your scene. So if you have a script that persists throughout your game in all scenes, you'll want to put it in that script. For example, I have the player network script, which is loaded on the main scene and persists throughout the rest of the scenes. So this is where I would put it. It doesn't exclusively say that in the API, but that's how it's intended. If you actually look through the demos they have, it will say that in the demo for the on ownership request method. So going back to Visual Studio here. And I think for simplicity's sake, I'm going to assume you don't have a player network. I will just drop it in my obtainable spear script. So first, this is going to be an override because the virtual is within the pun behavior uh, class right here. So I'm going to change this to public override void. And I don't need to specify the namespace or the class because it's overriding the base class, so it already knows that. So in the end, it should look like public override on ownership request and then have the object view and player. This is what's called whenever base dot photon view dot request ownership is executed. So whenever you click the mouse down, it's going to call this and in result, this will be called as well. So going back to the API real quick, it tells you how to use the view and player parameter. So photon view equals view and player zero as photon view, while the requesting player is the uh, second object, one in the array of the view and player property or parameter rather. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this text and paste it into the method. And you have to cast as its type because it's an object. So you have to know what type it is in order to work with it. Here's where you would add the logic to determine if the person should be allowed to take over the object. So let's say you were in a turret and um, someone else requested ownership of that turret. You probably don't want to give them ownership if you're still in the turret. So that's where you would add that check. And if you don't wish to give them ownership, if you want to keep the ownership of the turret, you would just simply exit the method. But if you did want to give ownership, you would do base view 
transfer ownership and you would simply pass it on to the new uh, player which is requesting the ownership so you could just pass in requesting player so I'm going to comment out line 17 which is the transfer ownership line that we just made I'm going to save the script and then go back to unity I'm going to give it a second to compile and I'll select my spear and on the photon view I'm going to change it from takeover to request save the scene and I'm going to go back to the main scene hit play make a room and show you what happens when I click it this time so I'm trying to move I can't as expected I'm gonna click the spear just clicked it you can see here in my console that it's requesting an ownership transfer every time I click it but I still can't move it so if I stop and then go back to the script and uncomment the line save go back to my scene I'm going to hit play again Just like before, I'm going to make a room. I'm going to click the spear. You can see that it requested ownership, and this time it actually transferred ownership, and I can move the spear around. And that's all you have to do for transfer ownership. Just make sure that the objects which you want to transfer ownership and take ownership of have the correct uh, owner type set. So it should be set to either request or take over. And it is actually possible to uh, transfer fixed ownerships as well, but the request ownership simply uh, will not do anything. So if that's set to fixed, whenever you call this right here, this method just simply won't fire. However, if it is fixed and you still want to get rid of it, you can call the transfer ownership and give it to whichever player you want without going through the request ownership method.